So hey guys, what's up? Welcome to World News 20 News Channel. So let's talk about how pool testing works when it helps faced with the criticism about insufficient testing and the reality of the limited resources India has decided to go for pool testing in districts with no cases have been reported this would be on the one and given data and where whether these really are zero case districts and on the other save resources what is pool testing it is a method of testing several sample two together with the same technique RT-PCR that is being currently used to test individual samples samples taken from the nose or throat are pulled together by suspending them in a solution in a laid down proportion the remaining samples are and label and kept separate pool samples are subjected to test and if it is negative then all samples in the pool are cleared if it is not then the individual samples are tested to find out which one is positive what does the indian council of medical research say on pool testing last week the icmr brought out an advisory on pool testing highly in the districts where incidence of the covid 19 is low number of covid 19 cases in india is rising exponentially in view of this it is critical to increase the number of the tests conducted by the laboratories hence it may be help to use the pool sample for the screening as all individual samples in an active pool are regarded as negative it results in substantial cost savings when a large proportion of the pool test negative the advisory said the idea said this to increase the capacity of the laboratories to screen more samples for the surveillance rather than the diagnostic purposes the advisory followed a feasibility study at the virus research and diagnostic laboratory at the king's george medical university lucknow the study showed that performing real-time pcr for covid 19 by pulling five samples of the ts 200 microliters is visible when the prevalence rates of infections are low. The ICMR also set an upper limit of the five samples that can be pulled. This is toward false negative because of the excessive dilution. More samples can, however, be pulled if it is been done only for research purposes. Where can pool testing take place? The ICMR document is clear that pool testing is only to be used in areas with low prevalence of the COVID 19, initially using proxy of low positivity. From the existing data, still a watch should be kept on increasing positivity in such areas. It adds in areas with a positivity of 2 to 5 percent sample pooling for PCR screening may be considered only in the community survey or on surveillance among the asymptomatic individuals, strictly excluding the polling samples of the individuals with known contact with the confirmed cases. Healthcare workers in direct contact with the care of COVID 19 patients sample from such individuals should be directly tested without polling. The ICMR does not recommend polling in areas where the positivity rates exceed 5%. Government sources to say poll testing is currently being considered only in the district from where no cases of the COVID-19 have been reporting so far. Reacting last week to reports of the private hospitals resorting to poll testing, the Kuramganga character had up the epidemiology and infectious disease at the ICMR cell. This is to be done in areas where the rate of the zero positivity is less than 2%. Five samples can be pulled this health to clear more people with less tests so far private hospitals are concerned this is not an exactly for our individual diagnosis using it like that should affect the for testing charges private hospitals should think about this is pool testing being used always in the u.s pool testing is being used in some areas to test population level infection rates for example scientists from stanford medicine used it to estimate the prevalence of the disease in the san francisco bay area while the conserving scales testing resource it can be used for any disease whose test involved like covid 19 and rt pcr test and is routinely used for the hiv screening purpose in a 2010 article in the journal of the cure Immune deficiency syndrome, U.S. researchers noted pooling strategies have been used to reduce the cost of the polymerase chain reaction based screening for acute HIV infection in population in which the prevalence of the acute infection is low less than 1% only. Limited research has been done for the conditions in which the prevalence of the screening positive is higher or greater than 1%. It is a well recognized screening tool for the epidemiologist. So, if you like the channel, so kindly subscribe to it.